Hi guys, Paul from PA Brew News. Ah oh, man, I had a hard time getting the fire going today. I haven't done anything in a while on the channel really. Uh, uh, had uh, COVID a little bit ago, which was fun. I haven't really drank anything January so far. I had one night where I was feeling pretty good, so I drank a couple beers. And then I really didn't feel good the next day. So, um, one thing I did do, noticed, is I tried to do a beer review uh, two weeks ago or a week ago, something like that, a little over a week ago, and it smelled good. What I was tasting technically wasn't bad. It just something about it really just didn't sit right with me, and I just dumped it out, and I haven't drank since. Um, one thing I've noticed is I've had the, uh, like, how do you say, like an oversensitivity to uh, salt. I don't know if that had something to do with it too. I uh, found this funky hat. I'm wearing a funky hat. It's negative uh, 18C today. Uh, negative 2 Fahrenheit. And uh, sun hasn't hit yet. It's on the other hillside. But I got the kids to school today. So came out here and decided to see. Check out how the the uh, hunting blind is going. Uh, the shack. And uh, wanted to make a little tea. So I got... I got a little propane stove over here going, which uh, helped spur me on. I'll get that going, and I'll worry about trying to get this going. And tell you what, it was a pain of dick. <laughs> it was a real pain in the dick getting that going. And I'm happy it's going now, but it was a real pain in the ass. And the lighters weren't working right because it was cold, and the things weren't fucking, nothing was trying to start up because it was frozen, and it was just a real pain the ass <laughs> just say that it got going but it, it was a pain the ass so in my face you could feel it hurt you know what i mean like it was really cold <laughs> so it is what it is but kind of wanted to get out you know i'm trying to i don't know how to say it, kind of get back into it you know what i mean that kind of thing so i was like well let me go out there and make some morning tea make some food i'm gonna let this uh fire die down I'm gonna add some more stuff to it over over the course of being out here, I brought some. Oh, that's a good idea. I'll have to pick that up. Um, my tripod's broken, but it's functioning for what it needs to do right now. I'm going to go pick the stuff up that fell out of the fire here. And I'll get back to you in a bit. I got to change. All right. See ya. Bye-bye. Okay. So, got my little bag here. We got a couple things in here lighters and knives and metal rope and start fire starting stuff tea 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 then big one i got my saw some more knives ibuprofen snack bar probably pretty old but whatever. still work wet wipes all that kind of crap. Uh, shotgun shells, things like that. Just a little bag I carry with me. It's easy. Uh, got the tea out. And got some stuff that was my grandmother. She gave it to me a while ago. Before she passed away. And a metal plate. It was more just decoration items, but they're good quality stuff. I mean, why not use it? Instead of just having stuff laying around the house all day, not doing anything. And I got the cup. Pewter cup. Nice quality stuff, so might as well use it. Got the old cast iron out with me today. I got a bag of seasoned up some steaks and mushrooms. I threw a little gravy in there. Might as well fry them up a little bit. Get some food in me today. Let's see, I got the cast iron with me. Got some oil. Might as well just make a little food oil now here. What else do I got in here? Got some just water. Water that fell out of the I pre filled up the the tea kettle before I came out here. So. Uh, nothing much going on. I didn't bring any honey out with me, so 
going to have regular old black tea basically today, just sugarless. Let this burn down for a while. Definitely doesn't feel as cold as it did when I first came out here. Now I got the the tea kettle cooking on one side and the fire going on the other side. It feels a lot nicer in here than it did. So that's good. One of these beams came down because of the weight of the snow and ice right here. So I had to put that back up. But I mean, for what it is, the dang thing's holding together pretty well. I got a roof over my head still, so. Oh, feels nice though. I mean, even through my gloves, I can feel how hot it is, which is oof, good. It's pretty cold out here today. I haven't been going out too much, um, especially since January hit because of being sick and stuff. So I just wanted to try to kind of get out here and <clears throat> get back into the swing of things, do my little outdoorsy stuff. I like to go get out. I didn't do any trapping this year. Uh, well, obviously, because it didn't get cold until later and... Um, maybe getting hit with the sickness and stuff like that so i uh haven't done any hunting or trapping this year um luckily everything's been going okay and parts of meat's getting outrageous in the stores and stuff which is definitely not a good thing so it might require i don't know i'll have to see what season it is and the the, the days and blah, blah. i know i can go late season with muzzleloader and stuff like that but i don't know when the shut the cutoff is and normally if i don't do it by now i don't do it if you know what i'm trying to say so um, we'll see but you know get through the winter get through the winter that's all you can do and then uh i got trout season coming up here start fishing in the end oh, things are going all right i don't try to make too high of fires but i kind of put everything on pretty quickly cleaned up what stuff fell out over there i mean it's all open grating so you can see it and just cleaned it out pretty quick. Got my little wool gloves on. Well, like I think they're probably, I don't think they're 100%, but they're warm enough for what it is. I don't think, it's hard to get 100% wool anything anymore without paying a shit ton of money, so. There's that. Let's put the old lid on. That one big stick skipped in the way. Might just get it out of there. Screw it. Screw it. Smoke away, buddy. There we go. Now we can put it on. There we go. Yeah. I got leather gloves here, too. I wore over. It's leather, leather work gloves. Smoky. Wow. I mean, it was bellowing out of me when I first got here. Okay, that's doing good. Now we can get this going. Spruce. Start heating that boy up. I want to have a fork in my pocket. <laughs> so I don't know. Um, I haven't been able to get to drink beer and stuff lately, but I mean, as far as health wise goes and gut size wise goes, I mean, that's not a bad bad thing. I mean, I got a couple layers on, but still got a pretty good belly here going on. So um could have definitely afford to, to lose that and yeah i have because i've been sick and stuff i haven't been eating as much so kind of get a put my uh eating habits on a on a minimal scale and kind of calm down the drinking a little bit probably wouldn't be a bad idea so trying to make a positive out of a negative i guess you want to call it probably get bothered by the cats they get fed all the time but they're always hungry if you know what i mean it's a nice day clear day blue skies like i said the sun comes up this way so kind of sun's up at uh at like 11 sundowns at two that kind of deal in the winter all right yeah it's going already let's see what's going on here Well, it's still going. I got this little uh, propane burner combo for like less than 20 bucks, and it works pretty good. And you can get new canisters for five bucks or something like that. 
So I figure, what the hell? And especially if you go someplace like I like really like Cherry Springs, and you can camp out there overnight, but you can't have a you can't have a fire, open fire. So this way you could you can have a little campfire with you without breaking any rules. These are great. You can just carry stuff in. Plus you can mix uh, mix things in there. Like if you're making paste, like you know bread or whatever, mix it right in here. Dump it on. Pretty good. And then you can rewash them and reuse them if you wanted to. Okay. Let's see. Preheated the pan. They're all if everything's already frozen just from being out here. Crazy. Ooh, come on, separate. There you go. Mushrooms and steak. Throw that on there. Man, that's kind of funny. It's like frozen chunky already instead of just smoothing like it was just a little bit ago. I haven't been out here very long. But it did take me a little bit to get that damn fire going. Toes are cold too. Uh, I don't have winter boots, you know. I just have work boots basically. Uh, but I got a funky hat keeping me warm. The funky hat is working, which is pretty good I don't like my steak really uh, well done or anything so this probably should be a good enough fire to do this on as long as I get the mushrooms cooked up good Whew. I know it's not an exciting video at all but uh, I figured I'd make a little I just go out here and have some you know morning tea out in the woods on the at the hunting blind and let you guys know what's been going on been sick um, I haven't been drinking, don't really plan on start drinking anytime soon, uh, health reasons, you know, to lose a little weight and stuff, but like, again, I, my, my taste, my taste buds are still not in, in check, my oversensitivity to salt is definitely something I've, I've noticed, um, bacon, she was making me, I, well, my girlfriend was making me some bacon when I was sick, and I could, I couldn't even handle it, you know, it was just so salty, and then, uh, Recently, I had some pizza, and it was just like eating pizza, but with like soft shell pretzels. You now the big salt globs on the and then uh, very recently I had some mozzarella sticks, and they were just ah, so you know what I mean. So I think that is getting in. That was probably getting in the way of that beer that I enjoyed from New Trail. I had one of their Cabin Fevers, and it smelled great. As far, as far as I can tell, like it was tasting good, but there's something just in my palate was not working correctly. Uh, it just felt like overcarbonated when I knew it wasn't, and it just something about the taste compounds. It's like ah, something's going on, and I just dumped it out. And I have four of uh, three of them still, and I just haven't brought myself to drink them yet. So I don't know. Uh, it is what it is. I think it's going to be something that I'm going to have to get. Uh, Kind of gauge my taste buds around and i'm going to once i you know once i start eating things again and i notice like maybe i start noticing my the salt's not affecting me so much maybe i'll give it a go later uh, i'm just I'm probably going to take a little bit of a hiatus off the beer thing for a while which sucks because um new tail new trail brewing company did release with cabin fever red skies which was a another one of those modern west coast ipas that they do and i really 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 enjoy so because I, when 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 they do more hop forward like clear versions of beer, and I don't know if this one's clear, but like Hemlock was really good. Uh, when they do like Brighter Days was really great. When they do stuff like that, they really do make a very a special beer. I mean, it's not high ABV like I like it, but the the flavor compounds are just really great. So I was looking forward to seeing what they did because I really liked uh, Green Skies and Hemlock. They're two modern West Coast. IPA, so I was really looking forward to Red Skies, but it is what it is. Uh, got some snow around here. It blew in from some of the wind, and like I said, the one thing came down, and there was ice all over my seat. I had to chip off before I could sit down, so I don't know. But the only thing on me right now that's really cold are my toes. Toes are cold. I'm not going to lie. Got fucking cold toes in these boots. So... Other than that, I'm doing pretty good. I'm looking forward. My tea's almost ready. It's getting pretty warm. Starting to steam. I got my one of these little cool little camping camping ones. I have a 
percolator, a metal percolator too. It's probably come out one of these days and make some coffee. But uh, figure tea, tea and steak out in the woods would be a pretty good way to start the morning. If I if I have enough flame to do it, let's just say that. The one side seems warmer than the other. It's cooking. The one corner is throw it in the corner. That corner's got most of the goodness in there. I don't know. Just having a good time today. Well, I guess I'm gonna pause you and we'll come back and see what's going on a little bit. Cheers. Bick. I'm back. Yep, a cup of scalding hot tea. So that'll let you steep there for a little bit. Put it down here. Very hot tea. Very hot tea. <laughs> That's okay. Tea and twigs. Always a good combo. Steak is doing good. There it is. Doing good. Actually have a take the put the fork down. I brought my little one dollar metal spatula. And it looks it works a treat in this cast iron. There goes a mushroom. There goes the mushroom. We're pretty much done. It tastes good too. Mm. Woo. Hot on the hand. I found this. This actually fits pretty well as a little lid. So popped it on the lid so. Help cook the mushrooms a little bit faster. Pop that right here. Like that. A little mushroom action. The rest on the other side. Put that up here. Out of the way. Winchester knife got it for my birthday a long time ago. There we go, mushrooms and steak. Nice steamy mushrooms and steak. Whoop! There went the mushroom. A little pink still in the middle, a little overdone for my liking, but it's, I think it's pretty dang good. Which is, this is a nice little breakfast for sure. The only thing I could say negatively about today was... I got there, but it was a bitch starting that fire, and my toes are cold. That would be the major negatives. I mean, this damn, this hot. Watch out when you pour it into a metal cup. It's fucking hot. It's cooled down now, which is nice. So. When the, I heard a cat, but it didn't come over and bother me.
So, I say that's a success. 20 minute video, I know I bored the cheers out of you. But, that's what's going on with me in PA. I'm just trying to bounce back from the, the big C. I'm going to stay a little bit off the beer for a while. But that doesn't mean I won't buy some, probably. If I see anything very interesting, big barrel age stuff and stuff, I'll probably make a little stockpile here and there and then get back into the reviews. I definitely have more to post that are already uploaded. So I'm going to go through, do that. I got a couple new ones, I think, four on the phone still. Back from early, either late December, early January. Pop those up too. Um, other than that, that's pretty much all that's going on right now. I'm enjoying this. These are easy to clean too. Just pop them in there. Just wipe them off. You can even do it with the snow and then just keep them in the. I can even do it with the snow and keep it in the. In the old shack for when I need it later. I mean, it's not a big deal. See if does them up. Make it a little thing with, hang some cast iron and some stuff just up here, just so I have it instead of dragging it out into the woods every time. So. Anyone that's been Paul for Pay Brew News, camp cooking, uh, negative, negative 18C, negative 2 Fahrenheit, steak and tea, steak, mushrooms, and tea. This has been Paul for Pay Brew News. Cheers. Watch that finger. Here it comes. Woo!